less one year ago, we decided to start a project called Happy Faces. Uh, and the first intervention we are working is on a school. It's a school in the Andean part of, of Peru, uh, which didn't have internet access, but we, which we will expect soon will have. What we did is we connect the school to internet and we provide 20 computers to kids in that school. The idea behind the, the, the intervention was to, to try to bring information to the kids that they could use to improve their life. Uh, the concept behind Happy Faces is how kids by themselves can improve uh, their nutrition, their life, and at the same time how they can influence the behavior of the parents so some problems can be resolved. The advantage of working with kids is that they have higher level of education and therefore it's easy to transfer the information from kids to, to parents. The intervention we, we started uh, consisted in trying to find ways in which messages can be delivered to, to kids and, and to see how much of impact those messages, messages have. What we did first is we tried to use a very simple message, which uh, given that we knew the kids in that, in that school that we were working were malnourished and they were having problems of getting sleepy at, at, at the classes and very low performance because of the level of malnutrition, uh, we decided to work with a simple message in which we ask the kids and teach the kids uh, how important it was to eat certain foods and especially that they could have access to an iron pill uh, in a health center provided by the government uh, for free, in which they could, could help them enormously to improve their, their, their nutrition. Now, the problem was, and the question was, okay, what type of message we deliver to the kids in the internet? And then we explored three ways. One, which is a traditional, which would be a public official, local public official, that they know, to give the message. The second one was uh, a health center guy coming, or a nurse coming and explaining them the importance of, 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 of using the pill. And the third type of message was some personality that they admire. And in the first uh, survey to all the kids, we figured out that they really admire soccer players. So we decided to go with the public official, with the health center, and a specialist, and with the soccer player, one of the famous soccer players in, in Peru, which they told us that they admire. Uh, the message was given to them each time they click to internet, they will receive this little video where there is a kid that will explain the problems of not having good nutrition. And at the end, there will be the soccer player or, or this health uh, center individual of the local area or the government official telling them, okay, please uh, go to this health center post where you can get this pill, uh, iron pill for free, which is a chocolate, uh, very nice uh, iron pill, which you can uh, get uh, over the counter in any, in any pharmacy. Uh, the result was amazing. Uh, we the, the school was of 250 kids. This is a secondary school. Uh, we started the, the project uh, doing a sequence of entries. So first we provided different types of message to 20 students one type, 20 students the second time, and 20 the other type of message. And then of course there was a, a group of students that, that had access but they didn't got the messages. Immediately what happened was that the kids that were getting the message from the soccer player, which was what I admire, they started going to the health center. And in a few weeks, uh, instead of having only 20, we have lines of 80, 90, 100 kids gaining, getting into the health center to, to get the pills. Uh, many kids were even saying that they were all the night thinking on going the next day to, to, to get the pill. So what it shows to us, and, and we are still writing a, a final analysis on this, is that uh, a simple message could have a significant impact on the behavior of the kids and really shows uh, attribution that this type of information can really flow, which could really simplify the way governments implement policies. So for example, if the government wants people to come, kids come for a vaccination campaign or for some health issues, washing hands, uh, simple messages could help to do that in a very cheap manner uh, because basically you distribute it across the internet in a very cheap, cheap fashion. What we are moving now, and the next phase is uh, we are trying to move into how we can use this type of information to influence behavior of parents to resolve certain problems. For example, we have some agronomists going around the households and the plots of the parents to identify what problems they are facing in terms of what they produce. And then we're going to bring solutions into the web through little videos and see if the kids learn about those solutions and how much they teach the parents to resolve uh, those problems. Uh, we are doing that in the same school, but we are also doing it in uh, schools in, in another region in which we are trying to resolve a very serious problem of psychosystosis, which is basically caused by pigs and how you take care of your pigs uh, in your households. So that's how Happy Faces is moving. So it's moving from influencing directly the kids to try to find solutions to them that they can make a choice and, and move out uh, and improve over time, but it's also trying to, use, to work with kids because of the higher level of education 
an easier ways to communicate to them so that they can transfer behavior and change behavior of parents so that they can improve their development.